Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In the previous tutorial we spoke about how to send email with the help of MailKit in an SMTP server in C Sharp. The next tutorial after that we spoke a little bit about SMTP host and SMTP ports. And now I will show you guys how to see if a port is open on a on an host. So we open command and in this command we're gonna write tell net and then we take the SMTP host name like that copy it there and then we do space and then we're gonna check what port are we interested in checking so let's check 587 if that works so are we able to connect to 587 if I press enter now, we see that we got connected to Microsoft mail service ready and the, and the, and the date. So now we have confirmed that the, uh, for the SMTP host outlook.com, the port 587 is working. Let's open another command and let's try out port 25. So telnet smtp mail outlook.com and then we're gonna check uh, port 25 if it works we will have the same response like, uh, as we have here otherwise we, we will get a timeout so it's basically trying to connect but it's, it's not it's not connecting so now when I press enter we can see that it's unsluted till SM that means it's connecting to this host in this port and you can see it's trying to connect, but it's not connecting because there's the port is blocked or it doesn't exist for this for this uh, SMTP host. So we cannot use the port 25 when we, when we are using SMTP mail outlook.com. So when we're using the SMTP host outlook, let's see if 2525 work. Command uh, telnet. Okay, let me just copy the name here. Dun 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 dun. Telnet, Outlook, and port 2525. That doesn't work either. So basically, the only port we can connect to is 587. Let's check how Gmail is. So, Gmail, SMTP host. We can see that the SMTP host for Gmail is smtpgmail.com. So let's try that one out. Telnet smtpgmail.com and let's try out port 587. And that worked. Now we connected to the smtp host gmail. So if I open another command prompt uh, and do telnet smtpgmail.com and let's try out if 2525, the port 2525 is working. And it doesn't work here either. So it's trying to connect, but it's not connecting. And this is because that port 2525 is an alternative to port 587 if the SMTP host has made it as an alternative. But here we can see that the two big SMTP hosters, Outlook and Gmail, has not made it to an alternative SMTP port. So the most common and most used SMTP port is 587. Uh, and every time you try to uh, set an SMTP port in your SMTP client, make sure to check if that port is working or not for the SMTP host. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial.